Hi guys, this is Camilla Schaffner and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're talking about my most favorite type of protein, fish and seafood. And where else to film anything or all things fish and seafood than the most legendary, iconic restaurant, Caviar House in Brunei. One of the most frequent questions I get asked at the clinic as to why fish is a very healthy source of protein. It's got very unique concentration and combination of macronutrients. It's very, very high in protein, obviously. It's also high in omega-3 essential fatty acids, but most importantly, it's high in very rare and volatile minerals like selenium, iodine, and zinc. Therefore, it makes it very important to include fish in your typical diet as often as you can. Not only is it high in these particular minerals and multinutrients, also concentrations of these nutrients are the highest in this particular food type. So the very interesting thing about omega-3 essential fatty acids, and the key word here is essential. Essential means that the body doesn't produce it itself, which means we need to continuously eat it on a regular basis. The king of omega-3 is, of course, salmon, you know, smoked salmon, poached salmon, roast salmon. Then, of course, we have sardines, cod, trout, um, crab, shrimp, lobster to a certain extent. The importance of omega-3 essential fatty acids is immense. It has got incredible, incredibly powerful effect on immunity, digestive system, emotional health, cognitive health, neuroplasticity and brain development. And of course, it's a vital role in regulation of cholesterol and cholesterol management in people with uh, excess weight. So let's talk about shrimp or prawn or lobster. It's everybody's favorite throughout the year and it's especially so just before Christmas or during Christmas festivities and New Year. Shrimp is a fantastic addition to a repertoire in terms of fish and seafood. It's extremely high in protein, lean protein, which means one gram of shrimp is giving us only one calorie, making it a perfect weight loss or healthy weight management food to include on a daily or weekly basis. Another interesting fact about shrimp is that it's very, very high in a nutrient called astaxanthin, which gives it its unique orange pigment. Astaxanthin is a nutrient that belongs to carotenoid family, vitamin A family, which gives us a fantastic uh, addition of anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties that is especially useful for prevention of macular damage and eyesight. This is a fantastic food to include if you're taking care of your weight, especially during Christmas festivities. Oysters, an absolute epitome of luxurious food. And why not? I mean, come on, look, just look at it. They look pretty, they look beautiful. They are incredibly healthy addition to your fish or seafood repertoire. And let's just go through why we should be eating oysters. First and foremost, oysters are incredibly high in mineral iodine. Iodine deficiency is extremely common and it's particularly important to include foods high in iodine like oysters, especially if you have underactive thyroid function. It can stimulate metabolic rate to a certain extent, so that's why addition of oysters to your healthy food repertoire is a really good idea. Oysters are actually very high in calcium. Not only they are encapsulated in a beautiful calcium rich shell naturally uh, throughout their lives oysters feed on algae which are naturally high in marine calcium which makes oysters incredible source of marine calcium and it's something for you to consider whenever you think that you don't want to include dairy products as your main source of calcium as well so here are a couple of nutritional tips of how to maximize nutrients whilst eating beautiful indulgent fish or seafood. First and foremost, when we talk about essential fatty acids, omega-3s, we always want to include something acidic like lemon or tomatoes or maybe a uh, sip of a wonderful champagne. Anything acidic helps us emulsify fats. That's why if you struggle with uh, absorption of fats or metabolism of fats, definitely include something acidic whilst eating uh, foods high in omega-3 essential fatty acids. And of course, let's not forget black pepper. It helps absorption of nutrients from the foods, especially omega-3 essential fatty acids. It doesn't only impart 
a wonderful smoky flavor to food, but it also helps extraction of nutrients, which is very important for people who struggle with malabsorption or uh, indigestion problems. Another interesting fact about eating seafood that we can actually draw from, you know, traditions of how people eat caviar around the world is inclusion of certain ingredients while you eat your omega-3 uh, essential fatty acid rich foods. Interestingly, inclusion of creme fraiche plays a massive role in assimilation and absorption of omega-3 essential fatty acids. Interestingly, when you combine omega-3 essential fatty acids with sources of probiotics like creme fraiche, omega-3s actually help absorption and adhesion of probiotic bacteria in the intestinal lining of the gut, which makes it even more potent and even more superfood than it is already. I hope you guys enjoy this segment on fish and seafood. I hope you guys now know that eating fish shouldn't be boring. Always look for the best quality fish available. Know your sources, know your brand. Try different types of different seafoods and different fish all the time because, you know, variety of sources of protein will give you a nutritional variety in general. Massive special thanks to an absolute institution and a part of London heritage, Caviar House and Premier. I hope you guys enjoy it.